Hey, it's Anthony from uh, Avgeek Assemble. Just a quick video for you today with some Lightroom and Photoshop tips on extending the frame when you've uh, almost cut off the nose of the jet. We've all been there. <laughs> so we've all been there. We've uh, we've got a great shot of the jet and it's too close to the side of the frame. So what we could do is we could just crop right in uh, and make the uh, the other side as close in as possible. Um, if you want to fill the frame, great, that works. Sometimes you want to give the jet a bit more room to breathe. So we'll show you how to do that. So what you need to do, go to edit in Photoshop. And wait for that to load up. And once we're in Photoshop, we need to use the uh, the crop tool, and we just drag out the the edge that we want to give the jet a bit more room on, and then we go to the magic wand, select that checkered area, and then we use the rectangular marquee tool. Now the reason we do this is to just overlap the edge of the image that we want to increase the frame size on. And we just overlap that on all three sides there that uh, that we've made bigger. Like so. Once we've done that, content aware fill. The best tool in Photoshop, in my opinion. So what it'll do is it'll use AI to sort of look at the the edges of the frame and fill them in just like that just like magic no lines there looks pretty good brilliant and now we've got a lot more room to work with deselect that gets rid of the uh, the crawling ants you can have a look closer in just see if there's anything any issues anywhere any artifacts doesn't look like it. Then we just save that as we exit Photoshop and that'll save that back into Lightroom into its original location. And there we go, back into Lightroom. There it is. That's the before and that's the after. So now we can obviously crop to our heart's content whichever way we wanted to do it. This will now give the jet a bit more room on its leading edge and uh, enable you to sort of get the the composition exactly as you wanted it for your final edit, just like that. So uh, obviously now we get into the edit, which uh, is entirely up to yourselves. I'm just going to push my own presets at the moment um, whilst I've got your attention. So obviously got a few options here, I'm just going to quickly run through them, show you what it does to each image. So we've got Foom Photons, gives it a bit of a summary vibe, stream of surprise, highlights and contrast. Sunny Synchro, a bit less of a, a warmer image but still sunny. I do like Tone Taxi, that, can't, that works quite well on some images. As you can see, these are all just starting points. Um, they give a different effect a different starting point and that's very much what presets are their starting points uh, and you can get the pack that I've got there at the side there for £15 all you need to do is just contact me I can get them sent over to you and the last one there Muted Merlin which is quite a nice one but not necessarily on Jets in the Sky oh and one more Neo Night Watch Neon Night Watch sorry right thanks very much I hope you found them tips useful I hope you found that useful. Um, obviously, do all the things like subscribe, comment, uh, any questions, any future videos you want me to do. Just uh, obviously chuck them in the comments, and I'll uh, I'll definitely respond to them. Um, thanks very much for your support from the last video, uh, where I was at Eastbourne, uh, took you inside my EVF. Brilliant response to that. So uh, here's the next one. Thanks very much for your support, and uh, I'll see you at the fence.